Hey guys, welcome to a drugstore diaries. Uh, let's just get started. We don't have to introduce this that much. I have two boxes. L'Oreal Feria. This is my hair color of choice. Um, been using it ever since it came out. I got a question on my Instagram that was like if I had ever bleached my hair before. And I feel like I get variations of this question a lot. I've never bleached my hair before. Uh, I have just been dyeing my hair some sort of like burgundy wine color for like about 10 years. So I'm pretty sure my natural hair color has like lifted a little bit. So it takes to these kind of colors really, how do you say, like they, they come across very pigmented when I use them. I also have two of the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascaras in Waterproof. I got these two and the hair dye, I think, in one trip with all kinds of like discounts and stuff. So I think I paid around 20 for all of that, which I think is really good because hair dye is expensive. If you watch the vlogs, you've seen some of this stuff. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Angel. I really like this. Um, it's one of those brushes that kind of have teeth on the end but nothing on top. And I feel like there had been something like this earlier and then they discontinued it and now it's back with a different name, different coloring, very cute advertising also. I also have this Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixi and this is in the shade Copper Glow. I like using this in the waterline or on the top tight line to just, you know, if you kind of have green eyes, I mean green and hazel eyes I think probably work the best with shades like this because it's a reddened brown. And they just work really well to bring out the green slash more golden like tones in the eye. So this is just some skincare I'm going to share with you. I've gone to CVS and I do think that they're like kind of, you know they do those beauty clearances like once or twice a year. Like they do one in the summer and they do one in the winter. I think the winter one has started because I was seeing a lot of stuff for like 50% off and 75% off. Um, this is one of the really good deals I got. It's from Nip Fab. Or is it Nip Plus Fab? I don't know. I've shown these to you guys before. These are the Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. And it doesn't tell you how much glycolic acid is in them, but I really like these. I would say generally, whenever you're using some kind of exfoliant, chemical exfoliant, generally do it on clean skin. Even though this is a cleansing pad, I would still go over my face with some micellar water first before using this. And I really enjoy these. Also, you know the trick, right? Store them upside down. Same with any kind of cleansing cloths, anything like that. Always store them upside down so that the when you flip it <laughs> to pull out the first, like the top, cloth or pad you get like the most amount of moisture possible this one is the glycolic fix night pads extreme um it says that there's five percent glycolic acid salicylic acid and lactic acid so this is like you know more potent so they were buy one get one free and i was like oh my god had to get them so you get 60 pads in both i haven't tried this one before so i'm pretty excited ideally i would just use these like every day but i feel like for winter i can't really put my skin through something like that I also picked up the Hylamide Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum. I picked up two of them and I already opened one and I started using it last night. This is what the bottle looks like and it's in a little dropper. It is so good. I put it on last night and it just felt, it felt crazy moisturizing. Now it's supposed to do a lot of things. The claims are surface hydration, yes. Below surface hydration, yes. It's also supposed to help you with dynamic lines, your textual irregularities, puffiness, and dark circles. I don't particularly have a lot of puffiness and or dark circles that I need to like actively try to fix, but we'll see. I mean, obviously I've only used this like twice, but I really like it. I didn't have any issues with putting eye primer on today. It feels extremely moisturizing, which is all I ask for in the winter. I generally don't try to do too many things in the winter outside of just keeping my skin really hydrated because when it is hydrated, everything else kind of just looks better. So the Hylamide items were like 75% off, which I think is a really, really good deal because in the US, I know that they sell in a lot of different countries, but in the US, Hylamide products go around 30 bucks ish so the sub q eyes advanced serum was 30 bucks and i got them for 7.49 which is amazing so i got two because i'm like might as well if it, i read the reviews when i'm like in store so i'm like the reviews were so good i might as well just grab two um and then this is the highly me glow radiance booster i had mentioned that this is similar to the clarins one that you you get like a few drops and you add it to whatever moisturizer you're using that evening and the next morning you will wake up with a bit of a glow like almost like a self tanner but less intense this does the exact same thing i used it last night and i woke up this morning i was like i was i always think it's gonna be about like a shade like a half a shade more glowy or tan i was definitely like a shade different like 
I woke up and I like ran it down my neck too. I feel like whenever you use these things, make sure that you run it down your neck also so you matchy matchy. Uh, this stuff is really good and there's a lot in here. You get 30 milliliters. It feels like it's more than what you get in the Clarins one, I think. Um, it's also, I don't know. It's harder to overdo that one because you have to force the drops out by, there's like a pressure point in the container. Whereas this one, because you have this, <laughs> pipette i guess you need to be a little more careful i might have put too much on yesterday <laughs> i woke up kind of yawn like yellow and like jaundiced in a good way in a good way moving out with skincare alter had thrown out a whole bunch of 20 percent off coupons i thought they were just going to be for platinum members so i wasn't expecting to get one but i got one anyway so super excited <sighs> i don't want to get started get started with alta but like Ulta, I cannot shop on the website and from following certain accounts on Instagram I have also found that this is a huge issue for a lot of people and when you try to deal with Ulta and Get customer service. I have dealt with customer service so many times through email Just trying to get an account wherein I can like pay for something online It just does not work like you literally can go through everything and then when it comes time to, when it comes time to pay They like reject you and they keep telling you. Oh, it's fixed. It's fixed, but it's not so it's, I almost want to swear off Ulta for that reason because they're just like... But you know, every so often these 20% off sales or... I also like that their rewards system is that you get money back to use for future purchases instead of redeeming it for rewards. They also give you rewards, which is nice. But anyway, so I got the Mario Badescu skincare drying lotion. This is like a holy grail. You see this in empties videos. It literally is liquid and then like I feel like something like calamine and sulfur at the bottom. This is like the absolute best stuff for any kind of bump. I generally, I mean if it's like an actual zit or blemish then I, ex I know exactly what it is. But generally anything that's like a bump or like a this or a that. Just any kind of like imperfection on the skin. I generally will just pop this on there before I go, go to bed at night. And usually it's pretty gone or within a couple of days it'll be gone. This is like so good you don't look cool <laughs> by any means they also have like a drying lotion oh no a buffering lotion and a drying powder if you guys have tried any of those before let me know because i'm super interested because i really like how this works so you were supposed to get a cleanser with that like you're supposed to get like a mini cleanser or something but they were out so instead i got this little kit for free it's the exuvians age reverse total correct and sculpt serum I don't know if that's any good. And then the Exuvians Overnight Recovery Mask. I see this brand advertised in magazines all the time. If you have tried their stuff, please let me know because with all the samples that you get and with all the like stuff from like, I don't know, like PR and skincare like that that I get, it's very hard to go through skincare. Like it's easy to try out like makeup or brushes or anything like that, but skincare, like <laughs> everything in queue is like a really long queue because you could you need time to try out skincare so, so if you tell me that there's like really great results with this brand i'll definitely move it up and like try it like you know next week i have some derma e items so on top of the 20 percent off they're like two dollar off coupons i grabbed the derma e anti-wrinkle vitamin a retinol pomate cream or creme that's how they pronounce it i love everything that i've tried from derma e i've never actually purchased any of their products um it's always been in like swag bags i've tried their microdermabrasion so good currently in the shower once it's done you'll see it in empties um i also really love their like charcoal detox mask it's like a charcoal physical exfoliant super good if you guys follow a makiyaj up on instagram i'll link her below she posts derma e all the time she also is like super awesome like i can't wait to meet her when i go to la so i also picked up the overnight peel with alpha hydroxy acids this one is an AHA peel. It's a resurfacing treatment designed to visibly soften, smooth, and rejuvenate skin with nighttime use. Another thing about Derma E is it's all made in the US, I think. Also, cruelty free, natural, paraben free, all those, you know, all the things you don't like. And it, they're all 100% vegan, as far as I can see. So I'm really excited. I like their their products just all seem like nothing is too intense, but they're, they'll work for you. That's what I've found with the products I've tried from them. Um, so I'm hoping that these will do the same thing. I think they're going to change their packaging. I think, or they have, but I'm just not seeing it yet. I saw it on Instagram. On Makiyash It Up's Instagram. I also picked up Andrea Lashes. This is a five pack. They are the 21s. Um, I think you've just been noticing if you've been following the channel for like the past, I don't know, a few months. I've definitely been trying to find like that really great 
drugstore everyday lash that I can wear after my Kiss Sultry ones just seem to kind of fail me. So we've gone through the Salon Perfect 53s and then maybe the Ardell 110s I think and those have been working out okay. I'm not like super obsessed with either of them yet so we'll see if these 21s do anything great for me. We have Lily lashes on today. Do you like them? I think they're really pretty. They're by Brit they're the Britney Bear one. They're really dense at the base and then they, they just kind of flutter out. I think they're really pretty. I had basically gone into Ulta with non-specific plans. It was just like, I have 20% off, maybe I'll find something. And then I got trapped <laughs> in the NYX lip products section. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is from Revlon. It's their, I think it's like their HD gel line. And this is in the shade Desert. I was looking for sand and they didn't have it. So the product looks like this. It's like very like nice sleek packaging. I don't know, I'm not super crazy about the scent. The scent reminds me of the HD lip colors in like these smaller, shorter tubes that were silver. This is in the shade Desert and it's just much more pink and way more warm than I had expected from like this container. Also swatches online did not make it look this intense. <laughs> I like the formula, but I really don't like the smell and I just don't like the color. So unless they come up with shades that I'm more like into i don't know that i'm gonna get more of these although i think if you can find colors that you like definitely pick them up because the formula is very light and it sits on the lips really nicely this is the nyx plush lipstick and it's a gel lipstick and this one is in the shade nude beach and you're like jen that is like so cool toned but i mean look at it the formula of this is awesome it's what i have on the lips right now on top of a different like full-on lip liner and then a gloss which I'm gonna share with you too if you've watched the vlog you already know it's on the lips this is the full throttle lipstick in sidekick and this one swatched really pretty you know how Alta has testers and I was like oh that's so pretty and when you look at the shade the shade is actually pretty also but it sits on the lips in a I don't I absolutely just do not like the way it sits on the lips it like literally sits on the lips like I can actually see like you know when you swipe, it doesn't kind of blend into your lips, it kind of sits on top so you can kind of see that like swipe mark if that makes any sense, like the skid mark from the lip color. I think I'm making sense, you know what I mean. And then after you kind of like, if you try to like, you know, move your lips together, but it just, it just doesn't look good and it really emphasizes any kind of lines or dryness you have. So this is going back. The swatch on top is the NYX Suede Matte Liner in London. It is the color I have on all over my lips, and then I put the Nude Beach on top of it. I love these. They're meant to be paired with the Soft Matte Lip Creams or their NYX Suede Suede line. I can't remember the exact. They're kind of like liquid lipsticks. So I'm super interested in trying out other colors. I love this one. Obviously, it's very warm. It's kind of brown, kind of orangey, my kind of shade. And I put that kind of more cool-toned Nude Beach on top of it, and you kind of have a very neutral-looking lip. I picked up three glosses. This first one is called the Pump It Up Lip Plumper and this one is in the shade Jessica. It looks like this. It looks like it would be really, really frosty, but you know, they were testers so I could look at it. It's this shade right here. It's not frosty at all and it, it in fact looks like a very, very just shimmery clear gloss and it looks so good and it feels like a balm. So I super love that. The other two glosses I picked up are from the Glam Lip Gloss Aqualux line. I mean, I feel like I've seen these, but I just never picked any up. I have the shades VIP and Do The Hustle. I have VIP on, on top of the other two lip products, and it just looks really pretty. I feel like they look like they're really like glittery glosses, but they actually go on and feel really smooth. You can go on, or like you can wear these without any other lip product and they'll just make your lips look really healthy which i really like like extra shiny but really healthy so the center one is do the hustle and the more peachy one is vip now you can see a huge difference in them like on camera but on the lips there's just not that big of a difference i just think that um vip which is the one i have on my lips just went better with my lip combination but i promise you in person when you just put them on by themselves on your lips you won't see a difference there's also another shade called i think it was called stone foxy it had less shimmer in it but it was like a really pretty like nude color but they didn't have one that hadn't been like played with or touched so i didn't get it 
Lastly, I picked up these thinning shears uh, from Hot Tools because if you, okay, let me get closer just in case. I don't know, maybe everyone knows what they are, but some people don't. So they have teeth in these scissors. And I have been cutting my own hair, I wanna say since, I don't know, like May? Is that when I've started cutting my own hair? But I found that like when I am cutting my hair, and I'll link the video below that I like had inspired me to start cutting my own hair because it was just like so like why spend like 45 50 dollars every couple of months you know not that i think i have like the thickest hair but i think i would definitely benefit from having some areas thinned out especially kind of along the edges like as in like the places that frame my face and then like at the bottom so it doesn't feel so heavy when i like curl my hair so much fussing okay so that is the end of this drugstore diaries uh, let me know what you're picking up i like it's just been this like constant thing lately where it's just like i'm just way more interested in skincare and then like drugstore makeup although there are those like l'oreal let me know if you guys have tried the l'oreal foundation in the squeezy tube that like total like con conceal and that kind of thing and then maybelline came out with a cushion foundation and i heard that's really good so if you try that let me know and then any other things i just feel like i haven't been seeing like there was a lot of new stuff like around summertime and then fall and then i'm like kind of waiting for like winter things to roll out and i'm not really seeing that much stuff also i found that i have a lot of nyx lip products if you guys want to know like what my absolute favorite nyx lip products are i absolutely would do like a drugstore diaries for that because okay honestly if i had to give up like expensive brands like i would be fine just using nyx lip products you know like their lip liners nude beach nude truffle soft brown top three hands down like i have doubles of all of them they're like so good so let me know if you want to see that i will definitely film that maybe around my christmas break and i will talk to you guys really soon